Harris, Harry Kane, one of, if not the best number nine in the world right now. We'll come on to him specifically in just a second. But Steve, taking into account the home form of Juventus, just how impressive was that result and performance in Turin last night? A lot of people would expect them to crumble, wouldn't they? I mean, they got off to the worst possible start, going two down in eight, nine minutes. Uh, and considering the experience uh, that was in that Tottenham team, on the European stage, it would have been very easy for them to have just folded and capitulated. But they dug deep and they was well worthy of the draw if, and very unlucky not to get the win. I mean, they showed maturity beyond their years. They showed steel, they showed grit and they dominated the game in the end. And to go to Juventus to do that and really have them on the ropes, um, for me, was probably one of the, if not the best result of the, of the previous tonight and, and last night. Really, that being better than even Liverpool tonight? Because of where they were? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, you're expecting Liverpool to go out and score the goals, aren't you? You know, but with, with Spurs, as I said, on that stage, and, you know, they've, they, you know, they have beaten opposition before in, in Dortmund and, and Madrid's, but to go to Juve um, and to come back from, from that deficit was, was fantastic. And what does it rate, Dennis, in, in terms of their performances this season? I'm thinking of both Real Madrid home and away as well. Is, is that right up there, if I, not I better, think, considering where they were after seven yeah, or eight minutes? Yeah, I think when you look at the game, and the, as Steve touched on, they, they could have just folded. And um, I think it was that man that got them, got them back into the game, Harry Kane. But Higuain missed the penalty as well. And that was an important factor of the, the game as well, you know. And um, so there was, there was opportunities, and I think what they'd done was very impressive uh, coming back into the game, especially the fact that I think Juventus before that game last night kept 15 clean sheets out of 16, uh, which is impressive as well. So um, to go there and to, to score two away goals and put them in a the position that they're in. Do you feel they're uh, favourites now? Oh yes, for sure. And how much will that performance, as much of the result, have given them the belief and confidence that perhaps they could not just get past Juventus, but Maybe even go even further. Yes, there, there's a possibility. You know, I think they're, they're capable of playing against anyone on their night um, and having a real go and getting a result. Um, but also capable of not getting a result. So, and that shows actually in the, uh, the way they are in the Premier League as well. You know, in the position that they're in. Okay, they're sitting fifth. Are they? Are they not going to get in the Champions League next year? Who knows? Uh, and I think. That's always been the, the, the thing with Tottenham for me, is they're the nearly people. It's been 10 years since they've actually won a trophy. And, you know, they're so close all the time. I think when they, they finished second in the league and they, they maybe had the greatest chance to, to go on and win it, you know, they've nearly done it. And they get to stages where they're really impressive and you look at them, you think, what a wonderful result last night. And um, will they carry it on? And, and, you know, you think, I'm not sure. And that's the way I am about Spurs, you know, unfortunately, you know, but the performances... Because of, of past the, history or because of because what of you past, see right now? Because of past history and because the way that they sometimes just, they, they, they fold a little bit, you know, at, at the time when you think, go on. And, and it's been a long time since, uh, as I say, that they've, they've won a trophy. They didn't fold last night, to be fair to them. No. How far can they go, do you feel? In the Champions League? In the Champions League. Well, they've got the quality, obviously, with the, with the man up front. Um, but in saying that, you've got the likes of Ericsson, who's performing out of his skin at the moment. Moussa Dembele, frightening. I mean, last night, his performance last night, he got the game by the scruff of the neck and just said, come here, you know, I'm going to just control this. Uh, and when you've got the complete number nine, for me, in the world at the moment, leading that line, that will put the Frighteners into any team. Um, and any team that comes up against them, I think they'll know if they if they keep try and keep Kane quiet, then there's Son, Eriksson, Dele Alli. You know, there's a number of players that can also go and win the game for Spurs. So they've got the quality. They'll need a little bit of luck, obviously, as as you all do in in cup competitions. But as last, they had with that missed penalty. Exactly. But last night's performance will uh, would have given so much confidence to go out and uh, and finish the job at, at Wembley. Does Mauricio Pochettino need to? Prioritise. Do they need to win a trophy or do they need to get into the top four? They're, they're, they're very close, of course. That, that fight for second, let alone the top four, is, yeah. is a real close one, isn't it? Yeah, top four is a must, I think. You know, the, 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 the power shift has is, is, is moved, isn't it, now from, from North London to Arsenal to Spurs. And 
Uh, would you take? They seem... what, do you think they'd take a trophy and finish outside the top four? Because everyone's aiming. I mean, Dennis just mentioned as well about the fact that no, they're, they're, the they're not winning they're trophies. Take the Champions League. No, take yeah, the Champions yeah, League. No, it'd be a top four. Um, but yeah, I mean, financially, now with football, it'll look, be the top four. I think uh, they'd have to be very, very careful because I think getting into the Champions League is a must. I think for uh, certain situations uh, at Spurs, you know, I think look. It's at a it. must for six clubs. The top six is a must for all them. Yeah. They've all got to be in the top, the top four. Only four can be in there, but six are, are going for it. Yeah. And they all need to be in it. You think about the money now, but the wages that they're paying. You kind of look at as personnel in the teams. You know, you look at the personnel and you look at the, the individuals that you think are top, top players and you think they want to play in the Champions League. They want to play at the highest level, yeah. right? They're certain individuals. And that's why it's so important for certain teams to get into the Champions League. And it's important for Spurs because why? Because of Harry Kane. Um, he wants to play and progress and progress. Does he want to play not in the Champions League next year? Um, I don't think he'd want to do that. I really don't. I think he'll want to play in the Champions League. And I think it's important that they try to get themselves in the Champions League spot. Um, and I would, you know, it would be very interesting to see at the end of the season if that doesn't happen. Mm. I think we all care, we can say that about Chelsea, but in terms of better position, playing devil's advocate here, Chelsea or Spurs? With the new stadium of Spurs, they seem to have a very young team. They've got a manager who has the potential to be at Spurs for a very long time and perhaps even do an Arsene Wenger. That's probably down to him more than anyone else. Which club's in a, in a better position in terms of the medium to long future? Um, very difficult. I think the reason being is because um, it's what happens at the end of the year. You know, Chelsea needs to get in the Champions League. It's important um, for Chelsea to get into the Champions League um, because it will decide a lot of things, I think, at the end of the season of what's going forward. And I think, so it's important for a lot of the clubs, you know, there's Man United, there's Liverpool, uh, there's Chelsea and there's Spurs. And it's a big fight and it's very close, but it is a big fight. And it'll be interesting to pan itself out at the end and, and we'll know in a couple of months time of how that's going to work. At the moment... Chelsea would have done, would have done well to, to, to get top four, considering the season they've had on and off the pitch would be a, would, would be a good season for them. What do you mean by on and off the Well, pitch? it's just dis very disjoint at the moment, is it? From top to bottom, I mean, we've seen it before. We don't know who's bringing the signings in, the, the manager's demeanour, the players, you know, it's, it all just seems very disjointed as such. And for them to keep grinding results out week in, week out, as, as they are sort of, of late, then, you know, if they keep pushing for that top four spot and... You, you've got a game coming up. You've got Man United playing Chelsea. If Chelsea go and beat Man United, all of a sudden Man United are in this situation. Mm. So it's going to change very quickly over the next two or three weeks and what's going to happen. And it's really intriguing to find out what's going to happen because I think it will, it will be so important on certain clubs and certain individuals or what's going to happen, I think, at the end of the season. Um, you know, so you're not going to answer the question until the end of the season, well, and, and that's, uh, that's fair enough. But it, it's, it's a difficult one to answer because if, I, if I'm looking at it from um, a young team, yes, Spurs have got a young team uh, coming through. They're exciting. Um, but as I say, you know... Will they keep them? Will they keep them, yes. You know, I look at Harry Kane, will they keep him? Will they keep him at the end of the season? Um, depending on what kind of World Cup. You know, you look at Hazard, who's at Chelsea. You know, if Chelsea don't get in there, you know, will Real Madrid come in for him? So there's, you know, there's different scenarios for different situations. That's, that's the next stage that Spurs will find themselves in. You know, are they going to be able to compete with Man City, Man United on, on the wages, money front? You know, you know they know they, they can do it on the pitch, but then when it gets that next level of signings, because nine times out of ten, the top six, they're always after the same sort of player. So, and, and then it comes down to logistics of whether it's going to be London, which is a massive pool for, for players to come and live. Um, but also is the money side of it. And if you've got Spurs that are going to be offering 150, 200 you know, a week, I, I, top, I top think mark. I think it's the trophies as well. I, I think, 
you want to be in a team that you know is going to compete for trophies as well. You, I know the money's there, they get that in yeah. there, okay? Um, and it's the, the kind of status of the club and what you can achieve, you know, you walk into a team and you look at the players, you think, you know what, well, I've got a chance winning trophies. Mm. You know, uh, and you want to walk into that environment. You want to win trophies, you know. You want to see in your cabinet at the end, when you finish, yeah. you know, yes, they will make a load of money, make a load of money anyway, but at the end of the day, you want to see trophies yeah. and you so want to win things. Tell us what the modern day player thinks. We've just seen Alexis Sanchez look like he was going to go to Manchester City. He didn't, and what seems to be, for a heck of a lot of money. Mm. Everyone's got different motives, haven't they? I mean, you, Den's right. I think you've, you've got to have, to, be, to, to, be, to come to the end of your career and, and, and class it as a, a good career, you want to look at medals. You want to look at medals one. We all know that money's in football now, and even if you're a bang average player, you're going to earn enough money to retire on and never work a day in your life. But what sort of separates them to the elite is obviously is going to be down to medals and championships and, and leagues won. And when you come to your career, I'd love to come to my career and have a, a trophy cabinet full of medals. Do you know what? They, they made a stance there, Man City. You know, they went, you know what? We look at our squad, we look what we got. This is what we'd be prepared to pay and we're not paying anymore. If you really want to come here, come here. You know, because this is what you're coming to. Uh, and I think they made a stance, you know, in, in that certain situation. I think they thought, you know what, yes, we do want you, but you know what, there comes a, a time where we go, that's the level we'd like to go to. That's it. You know, we are Man City. We are a team that is going to win things. Look at where we are. Look at the players I've got. Do you want to come here? If so, this is what I'd like to get. They've got the whole package, haven't they? They certainly have at the moment.